It's a really big thing where dealers will invest a ton of time and money into making the most amazing website, but they're like, their Google My Business listing is something set, they set up two years ago and they haven't looked at it since. And they don't even know that Google My Business offers all of these amazing features now. You can get your inventory in there, you can have live chat on there, you can have bookings on there. There's a ton of stuff you can do in there that they don't even know about. You've got like your, your main listing has like your name, address, phone number, link to your website, but then you can actually add all of your services in there. So that's like your services pages, right? So we're talking about how people will add this additional content to their website, but you can actually add it to Google now too. You can even add products now. You can have a Facebook type feed with all of what's happening, what's new with your business. That can all be on your Google listing now. So yeah. They invest in their website, but not in their Google listing. There's a great opportunity, and because so few dealers are doing it, the time is now. If you're one of the ones that does it, then you'll, you stand out on Google. I do think it's probably awareness more than anything else. And what has happened was, for the longest time, Google Local was this terrible thing connected with Google+. Plus. So Google+, Plus was this horrible, failed social media platform that Google tried to build. And once they finally ditched that, the team that was focused on the local side of that, trying to integrate it with Google Plus and do all this stuff, they now had free reign and a free runway to build all the stuff that they really wanted to build in what they now call Google My Business. And so over the last two, three years, that all of these features have popped up. And so dealers were like, well, yeah, we have a Google listing. We're done, a check mark, right? But they don't realize that Google keeps, continues adding all of these great features. So I think it's mostly awareness. I don't think it's, it's threatened. If it is, they feel threatened, then that is definitely the wrong uh, thinking because people are spending less and less time going to websites. There's great research there by uh, Rand Fishkin showing the, the decrease of visits to websites. And Mike Blumenthal has coined this term, Google as your new homepage, where People Google your brand or they see your brand in the search results, there's no reason to go to your website anymore. Everything they need if they want to shop for you know, a dealership or a, a, an auto repair place that offers these specific services, they can find that information on Google. They don't have to go to the website. And so that's kind of what's happening. Yeah, like another feature I didn't even mention was Google Q&A, right? All that frequently asked questions. It's like, does this dealership do that? There's a whole Q&A section on Google now that you can fill out and answers all those questions. Hardly any dealerships have taken advantage of that. Uh, and what, the, what they're seeing instead is just random weird questions getting posted in there and random weird people answering those questions for them. They're not even paying attention to it. And so a lot of that, those conversion metrics, like great videos, great photos, uh, questions answered, services all laid out, products already listed on your Google listing. Those are fantastic conversion metrics. So if you're browsing the, the local results and you see a dealership with nothing, and then you see another dealership that has the, all of your answers, who are you going to call? I had some really great pictures of this in my talk. Like one dealership has pictures of goats uploaded to their listing. Uh, the worst though, it's really actually frightening to look at it police stations. So if you look at police stations, you would not believe the user uploaded photos. It's, it's like vandalism. They're like vandalizing the police stations uh, Google listing and, and people are clueless. They don't even know. And so like Google doesn't send you an alert. You have to actually log in and look and see, oh wow, look at all this crazy stuff people have uploaded to my listing.